From WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Thank you for joining us right now for some of the day's top stories. I'm Mark Sinney. And I'm Stephanie Simone. Donations are pouring in for the family. Four children ages 5, 6, 8, and 12, all from the same family, died during a house fire yesterday in Summers. Today, the medical examiner's office ruled all four deaths accidental. The flames broke out late Tuesday night at the home on Quality Avenue. In the past 30 minutes, investigators said they have determined an area of origin where the fire started in the house, but have not determined how it started. The trial for the woman charged in connection with the disappearance and presumed death of Jennifer Farber Dulos will not start on time. The Michelle Traconis case was set to go to trial on Monday, but court officials tell us it's been delayed until at least Thursday. Traconis is facing charges including hindering prosecution, conspiracy to commit murder, and tampering with evidence. When the trial does begin, we're told it could last up to six weeks. All right, Mark Dixon here with your first alert seven day forecast. We're tracking this weekend winter storm Aspen. The first flakes fall Saturday evening. The wind and the snow ramps up at night. The peak Sunday 6 a.m. to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, then tapering off thereafter. By the time all is said and done, 6 to 12 inches locally more inland with some mixing, not quite as much along the shoreline. When we get into Monday, dry, bright, 35 to 40. Another first alert for a wind and rainstorm with temperatures heading into the 40s, perhaps 50s by the middle of next week. Meanwhile, Friday, bright and blustery.